Hey guys, today I'm going to go on a rampage that you haven't really seen before because, to be quite frank, I'm very offended by the mana sources statements. They're just statements to get likes, not to help people. Now, I have to go on my background a little bit. I was born in Shanghai in 1987. Tiananmen Square happened because of Tiananmen Square in 1989. My dad was a university student at the University of Akron, Ohio at the time of Tiananmen Square. I was in China. And George W. Bush, because of Tiananmen Square, he issued the executive order 12711 in 1990 and later it became an act in 1992. So George Bush Sr., I've always had great respect for him and honestly he changed my life. Now the act's main sponsors were Nancy Pelosi, yes that Nancy, who's the Democrat from California for the House of Representatives, and Senator Slade Gordon, a Republican from Washington, for the Senate. It was passed in 1992 by the Senate and passed by the House also in 1992. President George W. Bush, H. W. Bush, signed it into law on October 9, 1992. The Chinese Student Protection Act. And my voice is kind of breaking because my life would have been so different had George H. W. Bush, Nancy Pelosi, and Slade Gorton not signed this. Essentially, what it did was it allowed students like my dad to stay in the U.S. Um, Chinese students who were in the United States during the time of the protest. There was this danger that if they went back to China, they would be arrested. They might have been even killed because of Tiananmen Square. What easier targets than Chinese students who were from the US, right? Now, over the years, the act granted green cards to an estimated number of 54,000 Chinese nationals. My parents are U.S. citizens, I am a U.S. citizen, and I, my sister was born in the U.S. So we are legal immigrants. And I've had great respect for the law. I've practiced immigration law. I still volunteer, as does my dad, to help people in Houston with immigration issues because that's what we're good at. I don't tweet about it. I act on it. And here's what I'm going to say to the mana source. If you do have a problem with these, quote, concentration camps, I'll pay for you to protest there. I'll pay for your hotel. I'll pay for your plane ticket. You, I have the money. I'll throw in escrow. I'll pay. F I'll give you the money beforehand. Everything will be public. We'll figure out how much money you need. And I advise you, just like your role model, AOC, to go to a camp and Protest. Take action. Don't fly to Great Britain. Go to where the problem is. My whole life has been to help people less fortunate than I. Uh, we grew up really poor, but we grew up blessed. And I, I grew up happy. And to see someone make a mockery of this... And truly, it is a mockery because he has no idea what being an immigrant feels like. He has no idea what being poor feels like. He doesn't understand how difficult it is to get a green card. He doesn't understand how much of the legal fees there are. He doesn't understand that my dad was in the U.S. as a United States... He was in a U.S. university... And the very idea that he had to go back to China the next year, that's insane, right? They just shot a bunch of students, university students my dad's age, my mom's age. 
and you came from the U.S., there's not going to, they're not going to welcome you with open hands, right? And yet George Bush, George W. Bush, and Nancy Pelosi, very different people, both agreed for the betterment of my family and the betterment of many other families who were stuck in this dilemma. And from that point on, I've always wanted to be a lawyer. I've always wanted to help people, especially in immigration. I got an A in immigration class. I was one of two A's in my class of 50 people. I worked at, a, at CARE, which is a detention facility. CARE in Washington, D.C. is a huge organization. I specialized in people being deported from a detention facility. And yes, I actually physically went to the detention facility. It wasn't me tweeting about it. It was me going to basically jail. I mean, there's no other way for me to put it. It's jail. It even has a basketball court that looks like jail, right? It's jail. And I would help translate Mandarin to English and do the specifically the Chinese cases because they had no one else that did Mandarin. I did this right before my bar exam. When I was in my first year of law school, they always tell you how important it is to study. So while everyone was studying, I went to Hurricane, I went to Louisiana, New Orleans, to volunteer rebuilding homes that were affected by Hurricane Katrina. My friend, Laura, who has her own law firm, just raised money, not a huge lot amount of money, only a thousand, a little more than a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars was her goal, she met the goal, to help with the plane tickets of two former clients who was detained. And if you doubt any of this, I would be happy to send you to GoFundMe and you can donate some money. And I told you so. So instead of talking about it and tweeting about it and tweeting a link to your GoFundMe for medical reasons, do something blanking about it. You know, I get really upset because the man of source can do something about it. He can start a GoFundMe. He can raise money, just like my friend Laura. She doesn't have that many friends. She's a great person. And see, I met her when on our law school trip to Hurricane to build homes in Hurricane Katrina. Right now, it's really hard for me to think because I'm getting angry. Uh, I'm getting really like, a lot of times I'll joke about topics involving the mana source, but now like I don't even, I can't even put words into sentences because look, George W. Bush could have easily made up what the mana source did. He could tweet something, get a bunch of likes and not do anything. Obama and the DREAM Act. The DREAM Act was supposed to help a lot of immigrants. It didn't work. He didn't try. I wanted the DREAM Act, which is controversial, definitely from a Republican, right, to say, oh, I support that DREAM Act. But I think it makes sense. If you work in the military or you serve in the military, you graduate college, and you're a plus to the American economy and the American military and the defense, in my opinion, yeah, you do deserve American citizenship. How many people go fight for America? Why wouldn't you deserve to be American after you fought for it? I'm... <laughs> I promise I'll make like a second video where I'm less emotional, but this is the problem. I mean, this is a problem I have is my friend is out there. She picked um, these two people who were detained for a long time. They were in these quote concentration concentration camps. Her GoFundMe had a thousand dollars, which just friends and family. And this dude who injured himself can raise a hundred. 150 is asking for 200. I don't know. I really don't know. I do know this. What I do know is immigration is messed up right now. And you can talk and talk and talk. You can take photo pictures. You can take a photo opt of you in the quote concentration camp like AOC does. 
did, which is really just a parking lot, I believe. Or you can actually help. You can volunteer to give immigrate. There are a lot of people here that need immigration help. And there are a lot of people in Texas. I invite the man of source. In fact, I will let, allow him to stay at my home. I will stock it up with whatever food he wants. I'll, if he wants to stay in a hotel, I'll pay that. I'll pay the plane ticket for him to be here. For as long as he wants to be here and protest. And I, there's a great immigration clinic. All you have to do is be able to speak English and explain documents very slowly to individuals. That's what I do. That's what my dad does. And man, it, it's it's something else, right? It's something else where I, I read these tweets and they're just tweets. They're just talk. They're just talk and talk and talk and talk. And in my opinion, by talking like this, nothing actually becomes, nothing is achieved. Nothing is achieved. You got to work. Sweat, blood, and tears. That is the payment that must be made. <laughs> you know, I owe a lot to a lot of people. Um, and when I think about it, and the opportunities I had to live in America, which I consider the greatest country ever, and I've been to Africa. Africa is not a country, it's a continent. I've been to Ghana. I have been to Ireland, London, um, the UK, France, and there's no place like America, right? And there's no place like Texas. And if I can help someone achieve their American dream, is which is the opportunity George W. Bush, Nancy Pelosi, Slade Gordon did, even though they didn't agree with each other on any other issue except for this one, then yeah, I'm willing, you know, I have the utmost respect. And when people ask who's my favorite president, it's got to be George Sr. Bush. I live near the inter George Bush International Airport. I didn't choose that by, you know, I chose that by design. If I were going to live anywhere, which I can because I own a marketing agency, I'm going to live, you know, somewhere like that. Anyway, I'm like really not in a good mood right now after reading these tweets. Um, I don't know what to say, except if you truly feel like this is a concentration camp, which it may be, it may be, I don't know, then do something about it. Do something about it, right? If there's this many thousands of kids without soap, without toothbrushes, volunteer, donate them, protest, have a backbone. Everything I have been taught in life has been, you have to sacrifice. And without sacrifice, nothing gets in better. Somebody has to sacrifice. And if that's your time, if that is your vacation, if that is your money, if that is your intelligence, if that's putting yourself out there to be stabbed over and over again, then that's the sacrifice you make. And that's what you trade for change. You look at history, civil rights, Japanese internment camps and concentration camps in Germany and Poland, mostly Poland, I believe. Those are terrible things, but there were a lot of brave people. There were a lot of brave people who said, no, this is not right, and I'm going to do something about it. I don't know too many brave people who tweeted about it back then. I honestly don't think tweeting about something will make a big difference, but I could be wrong. I don't really know. But I can tell you what does make a big difference. When a security guard has to pass a protester or when a protester knows that there's someone outside picketing for them and supporting them and they can physically hear them, they can see them, 
or when somebody knows that hey I may be deported tomorrow but at least there's this lawyer who can tell me what my options are because I don't know people are scared they are afraid a lot of illegal immigrants have no idea if they're going to be deported tomorrow I volunteered at a deportation a detention slash deportation facility I know what it's like I volunteer for an organization called CARE C-A-I-R I'm pretty sure it's C-A-I-R it wasn't spelled like CARE like CARE bears but like CARE as in no I can't remember what it stood for but I spent Instead of studying, instead of for my bar exam, which all my other classmates did, that's where I was, at the detention facility, because that's where they needed me. And yes, there were security checks, and I mean, it was basically a jail, okay? It was a jail. So instead of spending my weekends enjoying life, I was at a jail. Because sometimes that's what it takes. That's the blood, sweat, and tears that you have to put in to change someone's life. This is a mockery. The man of source is making a mockery of the struggles of immigrants. He has no idea what it's like. How could he? At the end of the day, he's not an immigrant. Bye!